All right, so here's a G2 read. I got it on the MS460 build. I'm going to put a read stuffer in it and stuff. But um, anyways, I'm going to take this apart and show you what's inside. I used the same read on a Minarelli, and I used it on a bunch of other builds, and I had no problems tuning it and stuff. Uh, most of these people online, they just don't know what they're doing, and they put out these really bad videos where they can't tune the engine and stuff. And they sit there like fools. So I'm going to show you how to get one of these to work right. They're missing the key step in it. And I'll compare it to another reed cage so you can see what I'm talking about. But anyways, all right, let's get to it. FYI, I got videos on this going back months ago. This ceramic coating on the top of the piston, it's used a lot in go-karts, especially race carts. It keeps the uh, piston from expanding and absorbing heat. You put an oiler hole on each side of your exhaust port. Number three, windowed motorized bicycle piston. And the skirt is shorter, everything else is correct in geometry, and it won't expand and cold seize on you. So, this stuff's been solved a long time ago, a lot of people know about it now, but, you know, some people are slow to the punch here, so, anyways, alright, peace. Alright, so I am using a G2 Reed on this MS460 build. I've also used them on the Minarelli. <clears throat> and I'm going to explain why people that are using these have the weird idle problem and all that stuff. Okay? On these bigger builds. Now the G2 Reed is designed for a 50cc engine. <clears throat> like say 50, 60cc, somewhere in that area. Okay? At about 38, 40 millimeter stroke, something's in that range. I mean, these valves have limitations, okay? It is a valve, it opens and closes. So, what happens on the Minarelli or on like this saw build is you get what they call pedal deflection. And pedal deflection, if you use thinner pedals, what it is is when it opens, and the piston comes down and it does its cycle, it never actually fully closes because it opens so much that by the time it closes down, it's already on the next cycle of opening. So you get this pedal deflection, they call it, which is the flutter effect also known for like, it's a, it's a thing in dirt bikes. So if you ever did like dirt bike engines and stuff, you know exactly what I'm talking about when you do these. So... What people did is they would take like uh, stainless steel. Now, like a Minarelli comes with stainless steel uh, reeds. So people will change them to like fiberglass and all that, and they, they deflect too much, okay? So in the case of the G2 reed, you can't use stainless steel reeds on these. And the volume of air going through it, is so much that the pedals are open but never get to fully close so you get that flutter effect so when you see a reed that can handle a bigger engine this is why i like the dio reed so much but the pattern sucks you know to mount it to things 
if you see it has the helper springs and that helps close the pedals and then these are actually called deflection stops <clears throat> which only let the pedal open so far and then it, as it comes back down it can close it quicker so you always get a closed valve with that kind of setup all right now with the G2 read you have to add the helpers so on all the builds that I've been doing I put the helper springs on now what this does is it only allows oh, if we can focus here we're losing it so yeah you got to put the helper springs on and what this is is as these flex it makes it close quicker so then you don't have all the tuning issues and stuff so a lot of people just miss this step and I don't know it's just a basic thing that you do for a reed valve I mean anyone with common knowledge basic knowledge on them knows when you get into these bigger pistons that are opening and closing I mean if this thing is opening up like this it never fully closes so you, you can't tune the bike <laughs> It's just, it's not possible to tune something like a Minarelli or one of these saw builds or something like that. So you just, you need to put the helper springs on these. And that's why I really like the Dio Reed because it's already ready to go and it has a limitation block. And they have more pedals in these so that the airflow is spread out more among all the pedals instead of just two big ones on each side. So the other thing you could do is get stiffer pedals. But the issue that people have with the stiffer pedals on these is they will crack the block because it just can't handle the force of that. Now they do make a metal aluminum one of these and you can do that. You could put like uh, carbon fiber pedals and stuff. So, <clears throat> but the, the issue is, is on these plastic ones, they will crack because they're just not made to hold the stiff pedal and there's no support like internal things and stuff to hold it like how the dio reed is they have a bracket in there to stop it from splitting to hold that force and you don't have that on these so i just wanted to explain that and I hope that helps some people because I know a lot of people have tuning problems and there's just a lot of idiots that put these in <laughs> and then they just they miss this simple step you need to have the helper springs if you don't it will never tune right